off the new year with uh, how to make the new year new. Because uh, watch this now. Here's this where we are right now. Actually, we're already moved into 214 a little ways. But if the new year's going to be new, then what's back here can't come over here. Because if what's old stays in the future, then the, new, then the future is not new. Everybody got that? Watch the screen, because what happens, if you bring stuff over here, this is what happens. You get here exactly what you had here. <coughs> Good. <laughs> Rocket science, right? If you do what you always done, you get what you always got. You get what you always got. So something must happen at this juncture here so that this becomes new. And we have learned that there are four things that are necessary. Number one, we must forget the past. Watch now. And secondly, we must forgive every offender. So let's go back to the diagram just for a moment. Watch this now. If you keep bringing this up and don't forget it, and you keep talking about it, you empower it to keep on going. Now watch here. If somebody back here offended you, or somebody else sinned against you here. Or somebody disappointed you. Somebody did not keep their word here. Watch now. If, if this has happened to you and it's aggravated you and you do not forgive these, then these come over here. And you'll be as aggravated this year as you were last year. You'll be as angry this year as you were last year. You'll be as resentful this year as you were last year. So the key is number one, to forget the stuff that's behind. And number two, forgive every offender. Now this is amazing to me. I guess it shouldn't be, but it is. Because this is 210 here, but let's go back here. 35, 40 years. I have talked to people who had damage done to them 30 years ago. And when they talk about it here, it's as if it happened yesterday. They still feel the pain. Why is that? Because only forgiveness puts out of existence the bitterness, the anger, and there's that. It's an important sentence. Forgiveness neutralizes the power of the offender over the offended. To not forgive is like drinking poison hoping the other person will die. Bitterness defiles one's own spirit, one's own heart, one's own mind, one's own what? Marriage, one's own family. So forgiveness prevents the wrongs that have been done to us from entering the future. The third thing we learned is we must forsake every secret sin. Why is that? Because if we have sins here, and people may not know about them, but we know about them, and God knows about them, and Satan knows about them. If we don't do something with this stuff, we'll carry it into this year. And the damage that we are experiencing in our marriages, families, businesses, etc., will be just as extensive, if not worse, because there are some scriptures that we must never forget. Listen, <coughs> be sure your sin will find you out. 
Don't, the scripture says, this is it now. Be not deceived. That's the preface in the scripture, be not deceived. That's like, warning, warning, warning. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever man sows, that shall he also reap. If you sow the flesh, you shall have the flesh to reap corruption. You can cover this stuff up. You can bury it, keep it a secret, but it's damaging. So what we want to do going into 2014, we want to forget the past, forgive our offenders, and we want to forsake, we want to forsake every secret sin. Otherwise, that sin is going to keep on going here, doing because the because the wages of sin have never changed. Do you get it? The wages of sin have never changed. And the last thing, we need to finalize unfinished business. Get a conclusion to it. Now that's what we've learned so far. And I have not been able to get away from this subject. <clears throat> so today, only one page long. <laughs> what do you do at the beginning of a new beginning? 